Hello, good morning. Um, this is uh, the second lab for BME 4503 uh, medical instrumentation. Our group number is group two, and um, our group is formed by Paul and Aaron. Sorry. Hi, my name is Rachel Isaac Morales. Laura Angulo. And me, Franco Melis. Um, I'm gonna walk you through what we did. This is the materials we uh, used. We used the Arduino circuit board, um, a laptop or computer with a MATLAB, um, the breadboard, uh, the temperature sensor. Uh, we used uh, jumper wires. Uh, we used one kilo ohm resistors and a blue LED light. I'm going to show the video of task one. This is uh, the whole setup for the circuit. We uh, connected uh, three resistors in parallel, two in series, to get the exact uh, number of ohms that was required, 2.33 kilo ohms specifically. I just uh, run the code. And uh, when I do this, um, the sensor will record the temperature of the room. We were uh, in the engineering center, so the temperature was not uh, the environment, like the outside temperature, but the uh, temperature of the room um, with the air conditioner. Um, after the temperature uh, is recorded, a graph will be prompted. Um, and the standard deviation and the mean temperature um, is presented also. This is the graph, so you can see it in full screen. Um, as you can see, um, the average temperature was around 64 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, multiple um, scatter plots or gap points um, outside of the mean. I'm gonna play the video for uh, the second task. As you can see, the um, warm temperature on Paul's hands is inputted to the sensor. The light uh, blinks. That's what we set it up to do when uh, it has warm temperature on. Then we give it a break uh, for it to catch uh, the room temperature and decrease slowly until I personally put on my hands, which were in a um, cold water cup. Then I, I touch the sensor with my cold hands. The sensor stops blinking and turns on uh, nonstop. Again, this is what we set up our code, uh, our code to do. That was task two. Basically, the setup. I didn't. I didn't say it, but the the setup for the circuit is basically the same. We just added uh, the light bulb. This is um, our graph for task two. As you can see, uh, we were required to record three variations of temperature, and that's what we did first. You can see uh, the room temperature around again sixty four degrees Fahrenheit, then it goes up when Paul touches it with his uh, warm hands. And then it goes down when I touch it, when my uh, cold hands. So you can see the three 
temperatures. It goes all the way until um, 83, 84 degrees. And then uh, with my hands, it goes almost to uh, 60, 63, 62. This was all the um, all the lab two. Thanks for watching and see you soon.